Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dieter Greenberg and I'm the VP Product Management for Checkpoint. And in this session I will share with you how Checkpoint customers use our innovations to secure their own data center. So let's start. Now we talked all day about how customers are moving into the cloud, very obvious, but this also comes with changes and requirements for how we actually need to secure the data center. Uh, as we move to the cloud, applications span over the data center and the cloud, so it's not only that if you still have data center, application will have a lot of communication between cloud and your data center. Um, the second thing is that we all want to kind of mimic, have the same kind of experience in the cloud, also in your data center. And the third now, especially with the COVID, we all want to access applications whether they are in the data center, whether they're in the cloud, it needs to feel the same. And so securing the kind of hybrid data center with the cloud is, is a complex task for, for, for those reasons. One is since applications are all over, it's hard to control it, to make sure that you manage it all from one place. Second is the agility. Me as the developer, I don't want to wait kind of few days for the security guys to close the ticket. I don't want to deal with ticket. I want things to happen immediately. The other problem is that I want to have a very simple intuitive experience when I'm accessing my application, when I'm developing the application. And I don't want security, security to interfere me in this process. And the last piece is I want security to be scalable, to be automatic. I don't want to deal with adding more gateways, removing gateways, uh, shutting down or, or taking down my data center just for maintenance reasons. Those things cannot happen anymore. We believe in Checkpoint that customers deserve to have a modern type of security for their hybrid data center. And that's exactly what is Quantum about. Quantum is the Checkpoint solution to secure the hybrid data center. So what do you get from Quantum? Three main key values. One, prevention first. We believe in prevention. We don't believe in generating yet another tickets for the uh, customers to deal with. So we have a lot of AI and machine learnings to, uh, to help with this. Uh, we're giving a lot of automations, APIs, but in this session I will talk about scalability automation. And the last piece is consolidation. How do we reduce the, over or the overhead, the operation cost, uh, with a better management products for security? Let's start with AI and machine learning. Now, as we've seen during the day, and Maya did a great job to, discover, to talk about different type of, of attacks that we see in the data center, how do you actually deal with them? I will mention some of the attacks that maybe Maya didn't cover, so everyone knows about Sunburst and the supply type of uh, attack. I'm not going to talk much about this, but here are two other examples. For example, DarkSide, which is an attack that started with uh, someone with the hackers actually that uh, use the ransomware techniques to uh, target the uh, critical control system and it started with one and paved this way to another one and another one um, um, a huge impact on these customers and yet another uh, uh, attack that was Conti and again that's an attack that stole 700 gigabyte of patients data from the data center. So we see this type of sophisticated attacks happening on the data center and our approach, check one approach, is prevention. So for many years, we are developing this zero-day prevention uh, solution. I will talk about it. But we have two other products and solutions which we just launched to the markets about uh, uh, 12 months ago. Some of them are even newer. Uh, and this is the workload and container security, which very much relevant to the cloud, but also for containers that you have in your data center. And the other new solution that we have is the next generation WAF. How do we secure applications with web and APIs? So let's start with the zero day. On the zero day, we have over 60 type of security engines. Uh, most of them are running machine learning, artificial intelligence. And the idea here is that we are uh, preventing the unknown. This is the most important thing. Uh, over the last few years, NSS tested Checkpoint and other competitors, and they found the Checkpoint, when it comes to security, we do the best job. We really prevent the attack, and we're doing it with zero false positive. And we're doing it not only by having those kind of engines running in the data, in, in, in the appliances themselves, in the gateways, but also a lot of capabilities that runs in our threat clouds, the most powerful threat intelligence, which all the Checkpoint products, all the gateways, all the endpoints, the mobiles, the cloud, everything is connected to Threat Cloud. So we have a network of 100 and 150,000 uh, security elements that communicate with this Threat Cloud and consult about URLs, about files, 
We're doing it more than close to 100 billion times a day. So we talked about how we actually prevent the zero day. Now, the other two products that I mentioned before, the first one is the Kubernetes. Uh, you use Kubernetes in your AWS and Azure and in Google, great, but you also use Kubernetes in your own private data center. Why not to secure it all across with a single unified solution? Having the ability to, for example, have a posture management for your Kubernetes environment. Having the ability to scan open source vulnerabilities inside Kubernetes and to deploy a security, a nano-agent security inside your Kubernetes to prevent attacks happening in runtime. And the last piece is that with this solution you can actually get a, a, a security not only for the Kubernetes itself but for the infrastructure of the Kubernetes which is a, a complementary solution for, for your uh, container security. When it comes to a web and API, well, now we are developing everything on top of RESTful API. Uh, that's the new type of application. Even if it's hosted in your data center, you want to secure those, ap those application with a next generation WAF. Don't think about the old WAF where you had to deal with a lot of tuning and configuration. That's the old way. Now you get from Checkpoint a solution that you can put in your data center as a reverse proxy on Nginx or the virtual machine that runs on Linux, for example. Or you can put it, again, also in AWS or Azure. But the idea here, again, unified solutions to prevent OSP-10 uh, attacks, to protect your APIs, to prevent bots if your application is infected from communicating with the command and control, and to have a threat prevention inside this solution. So everything here doesn't require any configuration. It's all based on machine learning. You put it in your environment. After 12 hours, 24 hours, we learn the patterns of the, the, the behavior of the application, and we are ready to secure it. So we talked about how we actually prevent the attack. But what if you have still an infected application inside your environment, maybe a supply chain attack, for example? You need to contain, you need to isolate this attack. What do you do? Well, in Checkpoint, we are giving you a very good solution for micro-segmentation and for zero trust. The first solution would be the policy layers. With Checkpoint policy layers, which, by the way, it's quite unique. You won't find a concept like this in other vendors. You don't need to deal with kind of a policy that have hundreds and thousands of rules that are all kind of complex to manage. You can have a dedicated sub-policy, or policy layers, as, as we call it, associated with your segmented environment in a very business logic way. It gives you much tighter security and it gives you the agility to manage a policy per segmented environment. The second solution that I want to talk about uh, regarding uh, zero trust and segmentation would be the level of integrations that we have with SD1 vendors in, in NS6, VMware NS6, Cisco ACI, or even with OpenStack. What we do with them is not only that we automate the supply chain, the, the service chaining, how the traffic is actually flowing from those virtual machines into our environment or from the containers into our gateway solution, but also the way we manage the policy. The policy based on SD1 is very dynamic. We learn about those changes that take place in NS6, in ACI, and we don't require the administrator to actually manage those changes via tickets. We dynamically learn about them and automatically update the gateways about any change that happens in this environment. So we talked about how we actually secure your data center. Let's talk about how we reduce the operation cost, how we make your life as, as an administrator much more efficient. How do you enable innovation in your environment? So the thing is that you're dealing today with too many requests. You have thousands of requests a year which generate rules changes, policy changes, creating new rules. How can you actually uh, deal with those so many changes? And also, when we see the traffic between your cloud and your data center, we see that the amount of traffic between your cloud and the data center is growing dramatically, right? Um, and so what we're offering here is, first of all, the solutions to deal with the amount of traffic. As the application that you're taking from your data center moving to the cloud, you would see a lot of traffic between your data center and the cloud. Maestro is the solution for you. Why Maestro is so good? One, because it gives you a way to scale in minutes. Um, with a traditional solution, you have kind of a cluster solution, uh, active-passive, 
Uh, the passive gateway does nothing. Uh, you buy a solution and it uh, sits idle, waiting for a failover. With the Maestro, it's all active-active. So you can get to a solution where you start with three gateways. The year after, you need more performance, more, more, more security performance. Don't throw away those gateways, like with the old way, with the cluster way. Just add another one and another one, up to 52 gateways that can work together to, to service your needs. Obviously, not everyone needs to get to the 52. Maybe four, five, six, seven gateways enough for you over the years. But the agility here, the scalability here, is a huge benefit. And you do it all without any downtime to your data center. When you need to add more capacity, just plug in another gateway. And this is the most cost-effective solution in the market when, when you think about a gateway solution. Let me explain why. In this example, I, I will compare Checkpoint Quantum Maestro, this is a 6U configuration uh, security solution, to a competitor, which again, it's a 6U solution, but it's active-active with two gateways. You can see that the same configuration with Checkpoint Maestro, you get four times more performance, 120 gig of performance versus 30. But with Maestro, if you need, you can go all the way up to 1,500 gigabit of traffic. And you can go and play with whatever type of gateways that you want to put in the Maestro. It's the regular checkpoint gateways, but stacking together. Now, Maestro, it's a huge success for checkpoint. We have over 450 customers that already made the decisions to go on Maestro, to secure their data center with Maestro hyperscale technology. Now, as you move to the cloud, um, you would like to have a security for the cloud, right? So CloudGuard is the checkpoint solution for cloud. I'm not going to talk much about CloudGuards today. We have a, a different event for this. But cloud will give you a lot of technologies to secure your cloud. The beauty of having CloudGuards to secure the cloud and Quantum to secure the data center is the ability to manage both your hybrid environment, hybrid cloud environment, from one location, from a central uh, policy. And we have today over 4,000 customers that already use Checkpoint to secure their clouds, their AWS and Azure. And most of those customers use Checkpoint, by the way, also to secure their on-prem data center. Okay, so it's, it's, it's customers that use us on both sides. Now, let's talk a little bit about consolidation and, and the efficiency here. Uh, I talked before, and here I'm uh, repeating myself about the number of, of tickets, the number of changes that you need to deal with. Then the question for you guys, how do you reduce the overheads of those tickets? So here I'm going to show you different type of technology that all exist in our uh, uh, gateway solution, in our management solution to reduce your operation cost. The first one is the ability to manage a policy in a very dynamic way. We bring all the information, all the intelligence from the user identity, whether it's Okta, Ping, Azure AD, we bring it and we identify the application itself, whether here it's an example, whether it's SAP or Jira or ServiceNow. We also bring all the information from the cloud. So we bring the objects into our policy uh, from NS6, from ACI, from Azure, from AWS, from Google, from AliCloud, and eventually end up with a policy that is very, very dynamic. Changes that takes place in those environments will automatically get updated on the gateway since we get notification from those environments about those changes constantly. Another very important solution for the data center is the ability to empower multiple administrators to make changes at the same time. You'll have automation, and automation doesn't care about policies that get locked. The automation needs to work all the time. So automation can be considered as yet another administrator, and you have multiple automations, right? The idea here is that we never lock the entire policy. With our solution, we only lock one rule that the administrator is working on. And we are managing it in a session, so you can immediately revert the changes that you need for a specific session, allowing other administrators to make changes at the same time and simultaneously. And we are giving you the ability to see who, which administrator made what changes at what time. So very intuitive way to manage policy by multiple administrators. The last piece here is, is the fact that you, know, you can now manage your policy. And we have many examples of how we reduce operation. I'm, I'm just choose three of them here. But here is, let's assume that you need to troubleshoot a rule in your policy. 
You don't want to go and walk with another tool to see the logs and the traffic and another screen to see the rules itself, the policy. Here within the same screen, you can look at the rules and you can see the traffic associated with this rule. Now, you would put our solution in your data center and you need to integrate with a lot of systems inside your environment with the same solution, whether it's Splunk or QRadar, whether it's Orchestrator, whether it's SD1 solution. We have a lot of plugins that we developed over the years and more and more plugins that we are developing with IoT, as I mentioned here, all the SD1 partners to streamline, to automate the policy, the deployments, the, the uh, 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 integration into your over ecosystem environment in your own data center. So guys, to summarize, uh, if you see, we have over 60% of the global 2,000 customers choose Checkpoint or trust Checkpoint to secure the data center. Many of them, by the way, also use Checkpoint to secure their cloud. They choose us because we give them the prevention. We give them the ability to isolate the attack with zero trust, with segmentation. We give them the automation they need via APIs, via dynamic policy. We give them the ability to scale the performance as they need to connect the remote users and to the cloud and to do it all with a unified policy. So guys, thank you very much for being with me today and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much.